Huh? Uh, away from your hot steam and water. Away from my hot steam and water? Yeah. Oh, I would rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I'll huh? shoot you in the name of Jesus. You better fucking not. I swear to God, I'll fucking shoot you right in your fucking face. Okay, okay I'm sorry. Drop the fucking pot! Drop the fucking, drop the fucking pot! Hey guys, my name is Roy Dark and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing uh, the shooting of Sonia Massey. Okay, uh, this was a, a person, she was in her home. Uh, cops were called over there and they were having a conversation with, with her and it led to her being shot by the police. And so obviously there's gonna be a lot of backlash. There's gonna be a lot of people coming out and speaking on it and all this other stuff. But I wanna provide not just the mindset piece, the mental health piece, and my overall reaction. So without further ado, you guys already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and play that video. Sheriff's office, the one you called. I don't really hurt you. You called us. Okay. Right. Please. So what'd you hear? Um, somebody keeps outside my house. Uh, uh, please, uh, is this your car over here? Please, uh, please, uh, please. Is, is this your car over here? Uh-uh. Oh. Please, uh, please. That's not your black car in the driveway? Mm-mm. Oh. Well, we checked your yard. We walked around the whole block. We didn't see anybody. Mm-mm. Right. You know, we don't. We checked the whole area. There's nobody out walking around. Yeah, so if you guys don't understand what's going on, she's the one that actually called the cops and uh, they responded. They already sound annoyed just to, I mean, come on, right? Listen, let just talk about the mindset part of this. Okay, the energy you give off is what you get back. And um, I do believe that being a law enforcement is probably one of the most stressful positions a person could be in, like, like a correctional officer or even a first responder like EMT. I don't think it gets any more crazier than that or people who work in the ER, of course, right? So every single day, their their emotions, it's like it's like a sustained exposure to anxiety. That's the best way to put it. And the worst thing that can happen, at least, is someone getting shot. And obviously we want to avoid that. So already when they knock on the door, you could tell they're they're just annoyed as as they, they like they're just why why are we even here type of attitude, right? So they're already starting off on the wrong foot, in my opinion. Um, it's not like she looks violent. She doesn't look threatening. You know, I mean, it's easy to quarterback this and say, well, I would have did this. I would have did that. But people don't understand unless you work law enforcement every single day and you're dealing with people like this every single day. You, you can't understand. It's easy to say that. Let's keep going, though. No, y'all. Please, God. Please, God. I'm trying to get help, y'all. But What do you need help with? Nothing. I just, please, God. Please, God. Please. I don't know what to do. Do with what? Huh? What do you need help with? Nothing. I just wanted to see if I could help me. What do you want help with? Huh? What do you want help with? Huh? I heard somebody outside. Yeah, we checked your house. We checked your backyard. I walked all the way through all these backyards. We checked your front yard. We didn't see nobody. Yeah, so nobody's out here. You didn't see anybody? Nope. Nope. Oh. Check the whole area. Okay. What take you so long to answer the door? Oh, I was trying to put on some clothes, sir. I'm sorry. I was trying to get I got gotcha. you. All right. Sorry. Is there anything else we can do for you? Yeah. Is there anything else I can do for you? Um, no, sir. Okay. Okay. Sir. All right. You doing all right mentally? Yes. Sure? My medicine stuff. All right. Okay. I love y'all. Thank y'all. <laughs> all right. That's not your black car, though. The SUV? Who's is it? Uh. So at this point, it's easy because uh, I know what everyone's thinking, right? Like uh, a rational person would be like, all right, I'm getting out of here. I'm trying to get, go to somewhere else. I'm trying to do my job, right? Because at this point, they probably feel like they wasted their time. So let's just keep it moving, right? Like why, why are we still here, right? And, and sometimes um, we have that reaction to when we see body cam footage, but we have to understand cops are trained to conduct an investigation. And some cops um, are going to conduct it in the way that they see fit. So obviously, uh, these cops, they're not done. They, they want, they still have questions. Uh, it's not like if they really wanted to get out of there, they would have been gone already. Uh, but they still have some questions about the vehicle in our driveway. Okay, if it's not yours, whose is it then? Right now, does it really matter? 
I'm with you. I don't think it really matters. Just move on, right? But it's in their purview to do an investigation. That's that's what they're doing. You don't know if someone just parked it in your driveway? Mm -hmm. They brought it to my driveway. And just left it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's run that. Yeah. 19, I got a 20 play. Does anyone else live here with you? David Mary four three five five six. You got a name? You can add your something. Take your name real quick. Catch this. Anyways, as you can see, this is why they're still there. They're so caught up in this vehicle. Uh, I mean, listen, it's easy to say who gives a shit about the vehicle, right? It's easy to say. It. You have to understand the purpose of them is to conduct investigations all day long. If they get a call, they're going to be thorough. Temple. So, you know, they're doing what cops do. They're investigating everything. They're looking at everything they could possibly look at, trying to figure out what's going on. A dent, I believe. Well, what about windows? Oh, that, it was something that happened earlier. Okay, perfect. Uh, what is your last name? Uh, Should not think about your last name. Okay. You're not in trouble. I just need to Massey. Text. Huh? Massey. What yeah. You have an ID? That makes things so much easier. I, I just need to get... Just a driver's license will do, and I'll get out of your hair. I want to show y'all my paperwork. I will what? get your paperwork. What paperwork? Okay. Yeah, so you see, she's getting a little frustrated, like, okay, well, let's, can we get the solar with? I got some paperwork. We'll just get your ID. Well, let's get your ID attention. first, and then one task at a time here. Okay. Let me here, grab it. your ID for me. Uh-huh. Okay. Your ID. One task at a time. So let's do an ID, and then you can dig around for your uh, paperwork. I don't know where my ID is. You have that stack right there, maybe? Okay. One second. Just check on her. Let me get this. No, we don't need a fire while we're here. Right. Okay. okay, so some of you guys might be like, whoa, how did she move that fast? It's because um, she had water boiling on the stove already, and then obviously you start to hear the water boiling. I don't believe it's a kettle. Um, and so she got up really quick and just went to turn it off. And so that's why she's all of a sudden in the kitchen. Because when I first saw the clip, I was like, wow, how'd she get there so quickly? Uh, that That's exactly what, what happened. So let's keep going. <laughs> Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? Uh, away no, from your hot steaming water. Away from my hot steaming water? Yeah. Oh, I would rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Huh? Rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You better fucking not. I swear to God, I'll fucking shoot you right in your fucking face. Okay. Wow, right? So what she said right now, she asked, where are you going? Because the cops, he basically, he was just in the kitchen and then he backed away. And then she was like, where are you going? And he's like, I'm getting away from your boiling water because they don't want her to throw the boiling water on there. And um, now, listen, <laughs> I'm not a cop, but I just want to add my two cents on this for whatever it's worth. And from a mindset point of view, we like, again, the energy you put out is what you get back. So the energy of the cops right now is all of a sudden they're scared of boiling water, right? That's why he backed away. So, okay, so you're scared, you're on high alert. So that means your emotions are elevated, which means your ability to probably think is going out the window. And it's easy to say if we were in that position, we probably wouldn't do that. But you have to understand, we don't even know where they came before this. Uh, we don't know what happened yesterday. We don't know what happened last night. Mentally, what's going on with the police officers as well? We don't know that. So again, it, it's mindset's everything, man. It, it's it's if you can check and and stay in control of your emotions, especially during periods of peak stress, you're more likely to make the best decision possible. Um, when you're not in control and you're just running on full anxiety emotion, it, it just sooner or later, you're, you're not going to make the best decision. So let's see what happens as a result of her claiming or saying, I rebuke you, which is not really a threat. Okay. Saying I rebuke you is not a threat. 
That sounds like she's got some mental problems, if anything. Right. She didn't say, I'm going to throw this boiling water on you or I'm going to kick your ass or something like that. She didn't say anything like that. So I find I find it interesting how quickly they they went to pulling out their firearm. Um, and even if you guys are what, six, two, six, four. I mean, these cops are huge. Um, I'm sure you could just taser up and call it a day, you know. So but whatever. Let's let's actually watch this full full speed here. Okay. Huh? Away from your hot steam and water. Away from my hot steam and water? Yeah. Oh, I would repeat you in the name of Jesus. Huh? I'll shoot you in the name of Jesus. You better fucking not. I swear to God, I'll fucking shoot you right in your fucking face. Okay, okay I'm sorry. Drop the I'm fucking sorry. pot! The fucking Drop the fucking pot! Drop the fucking pot! Drop the fucking pot! 19 shots fired, Joseph. Shots fired! Shots fired! Drop the fucking pot! Now. Come on. Nobody's stupid here, all right? This is you have to be a brain sci scientist to know that the the cops absolutely overreacted. I mean, could you have at least I mean, let's let's see her throwing the pot at them at least, right? And I believe there's another angle to this where it kind of shows like it's looking like that possibly. But like I like, like I'm telling you guys, if we are going to continue to expect that police officers are never going to do this. We're absolutely ignorant. Okay, police officers are exposed to peak levels of anxiety, and and every, every single day. So, what does that mean? That means we obviously need to have better training, and we need to vet police officers more and make sure that they're not um, these officers who are being pushed to the limits emotionally. And this guy, apparently, the word on the street is. He had already worked at different police departments already and has been moving around. In my opinion, that's a red flag. That is a red flag. Uh, now, what do we do about it? They just need to change their policies on how they hire police officers to begin with. But guess what? Who wants to be a police officer in today's climate? Probably nobody. So it's a catch-22. Bring emails now. We got a headshot wound to the female. Headshot wound to the female. 1078. Fuck. I was on. I was on. I'm and he's like, yeah, my body camera's on. Probably that's what he was saying. They're still pointing the gun at her. Why? I mean, that's that speaks a lot, right? It speaks a lot that you shoot her in the head and then you're still pointing the gun at her, even though you see that she's dead. Okay, so we found the other angle of the body cam. Let's watch that really quick. Okay, so you guys seen that, right? And um, obviously, listen, let's just common sense, right? Even if she threw the pot at you, you would definitely be able to dodge it because of how far apart they were. That's one. Two, even if the water was still in the pot once it once it got into your vicinity and maybe it hits your 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 body, I mean, it, it's it, it it doesn't seem very feasible to shoot someone in the head. Right? And I don't believe they were looking to walk into that house that night and shoot someone in the head, right? Let's just understand. But I think what it is is a breaking point, a boiling point for that officer. Clearly, he probably was going through whatever he's been going through. A lot of people are going to turn this in. It, you know, it's a hate crime. They want black people dead. You know, this is systematic racism again. This is police brutality, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I don't believe any of that to true to, to be true. What I believe it's a mental health issue on both sides. Number one, she's totally confused. She doesn't even know where she's at. She doesn't know what the hell's going on. And she called the cops. I mean, right? And it's already reported that she did have mental health issues. And the cop clearly has some issues. You have issues if you're willing to pull your gun out on someone who looks like her and all she is is, is holding a pot. And your first instinct is to shoot her in the head. Yeah, you got issues. You have issues. And then after you shoot her in the head and you see that blood is just pouring out, you're still pointing the gun at her. Yeah, 
I think you got issues. So I don't believe this is justified whatsoever. I believe this is, a, in my opinion, I'm not a, a DA. I, I don't have a law degree whatsoever. Uh, I, I never worked in law, uh, law enforcement, um, but I do believe that this should be an easy case. Okay, This guy should definitely be going to prison. He definitely should not be a cop. We, we do not need cops who are at that point. Okay, like that is an easy. I, I really do believe that should have never happened. Um, now, this isn't this isn't like other shootings where the suspect attacked the cop or the suspect ran away from the cop or the suspect did something violently or they had a firearm. That's not this at all. So at the end of the day, um, one, one or two things are going to happen with the media. The media is going to spin this and say, especially the politicians on the Democrat side, they're going to spin this and say, oh, here we go. Systematic racism. White people want to kill black people. Here we go again. And it's not a race thing. It's not. It's a mental health thing. And that is part of the conversation that is always forgotten. They always go for the race. They go for the system. Right? That's what they're going to push in the media. That's what the politicians are going to say. And once again, we're going to leave mental health on the wayside. We need to talk about that more and more and more instead of the color, instead of, the color of somebody's skin. Right. But hey, that's my mindset on it. Uh, what about you? What do you guys think about the shooting? It's a tragedy. Uh, the hearts obviously go out to her family. Obviously, no one wants her dead. She doesn't. She didn't even look like she deserved to be dead, in my opinion. Um, I hope that she is in a better place. And I do hope that that police officer is fired and he goes to prison so people can feel like justice was served. Uh, that's my mindset. What's yours? Tell me what you think about all this and more in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. I'll see you in the next one.